Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan and I want to start by saying thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and your notification bell so you're notified every week when I post a new video. Now, without further ado, if you want to see how I got this super easy and quick everyday makeup look, then just keep watching. Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. First, I'm going to start by pulling my hair back with a headband and applying some chapstick. My face is already moisturized with my Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Hydrator as well as my Kate Somerville Antibacterial Lotion. I put those on and let them sink in for about 30 minutes before I start my makeup. Next I'm moving on to primer which is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This stuff is amazing. I think it does just as well as some of my high-end primers. It really smooths out your skin, hides all your pores, and gives a good base for your foundation. Next, I'm moving on to the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I'm in the shade Classic Ivory 120. I love this stuff. I know it says that it's matte and poreless. I definitely think it hides your pores. And it's definitely matte, but it's not drying. So I really love this stuff. I use about a dime size, and then I dot it all over my face. And now I'm going to go in with my Morphe E31 foundation brush to blend it out. Next, I'm going in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I love this stuff. I love the applicator. I love how well it blends out. As you can see, I'm putting it underneath my eyes to hide my dark circles. I'm putting it on my forehead, my chin, and my nose just to brighten up the center of my face. And I'm in the shade Light Pale. Next, I'm going to go in with my Morphe M439 to blend that all out. This is a foundation brush, however, I don't like it for foundation. It's got a really nice dome shape that fits underneath your eyes perfectly. Now it's time to set my foundation and my concealer so that way it lasts all day. And I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light. I love this stuff. I mainly focus it underneath my eyes to set my concealer and then everywhere else that I put concealer. So my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush to apply it. The only bad thing about powder is it can get a bit messy and if you're anything like me, you're gonna end up having it everywhere. I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Powder in the color Classic Ivory and I'm going to be applying that with the Real Techniques Powder Brush and I'm focusing it on the outer part of my face but I'm also bringing it into the inner part to blend everything. And I just realized that all the products I've used so far are Maybelline. I think they're such a good makeup brand. I think some of their products are comparable to my high end products plus they're super affordable. Next I'm going in with the NYX matte bronzer in the shade medium to contour a little bit. I don't do this every day but some days I do just love a sculpted face so it's personal preference if you want to contour or not. And as you can see I'm following my natural cheekbone and I'm starting at the top of my ear and stopping at the corner of my eyebrow. Next is my favorite part, bronzing up my skin. So I'm going in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I love this stuff. The formula is so great. It blends so well. And I'm just going to apply it all over my cheeks, up on my forehead, around my face, my jawline, and my neck, just to blend everything together and give me a nice bronzed look. Next, I'm going to be going in with blush. Ignore my face. I was super excited because 
I couldn't find it for the longest time and I finally found it again. This is my favorite drugstore blush. It's Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. It is just such, such a pretty shade. It's a little bit of a corally pink and it's got a slight shimmer to it so it gives your skin a nice healthy glow. Moving on to the eyes, we are going to be using our bronzer for our eyeshadow. I love this look. It's so quick, so easy because you're reusing products that you already have out. You're not having to fuss with getting new ones. Plus, your bronzer acts as the perfect transition and crease color for your eyes. And it blends in with the bronzer already on your cheeks. So it makes the whole look come together. As you can see, I'm doing windshield wiper motions across my crease using my Morphe E27 blending brush. And to get my lower lash line, I'm going to use the same blending brush and just pinch the end of it to make it narrow to get right along that lash line. Next, going in with the Becca Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Opal, I'm going to be applying that to my lid using my finger. I think with shimmer shades, you get the best pigment and color payoff when you use your finger. Just another reason why I love this look because we're reusing products. It's so quick, so easy and takes no time at all. Now I'm taking the highlight and adding it to my inner corner to make my eyes look open and bright and awake. Then, going back in with the blending brush we used to blend our crease color, I'm going to make sure that the crease and the shimmer on my lids all blends perfectly. Next up is eyebrows. I'm going to be using my IT Cosmetics Brow Power in the Universal shade. This is a travel size that I got a long time ago. I don't use a lot, so it lasts me a while. And as you can see, I'm just filling in the sparse areas. I'm not drawing outside of my natural brow line. I'm just filling in to make it all look even. Grabbing our highlighter again, I'm going to use my finger and apply a little bit to my brow bone. And then going in one more time, making sure everything is blended seamlessly. Moving on to liquid eyeliner, I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Liner in the shade Black Brown. I know tugging at the skin around your eyes is not good, but I have tried applying eyeliner with my eyes open and let's just say it's not pretty. For my waterline, I'm going in with the Quick Liner by Clinique in the color Intense Chocolate, just on the outer part of my waterline to keep the inner part open and bright. Moving on to lashes, I'm going to be curling my eyelashes with my Revlon Eyelash Curler. And then moving on to mascara, I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. I have been using this since at least college, so for about five years now, and I'm obsessed with this mascara. I love the wand. It's curved, so it curls my eyelashes perfectly. Plus, I love the formula. It's not too thin, but it's also not too thick, so you can build it up or you can just do a light layer. Can't forget the lower lashes. going back into our highlighter, this time to actually highlight our face with. So I'm going to do my cheekbones a little above my eyebrow. And take some down the center of my nose. 
and on my Cupid bow. Moving on to lips, I'm using the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Magnetic Mauve to line my lips. And then for lipstick, I am using the MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade Baby's Alright. I love this shade. It is just the perfect neutral shade for an everyday look. And then for lip gloss, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. The butter glosses are my favorite lip glosses. And now it's time to set everything in place. So I'm using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. I love this stuff. It sets my makeup in place all day. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this everyday quick makeup look and got some inspiration. I love this look. I wear it when I'm just out and about, running errands, meeting Jake for lunch, whatever the case may be. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you won't miss out on my next video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.